Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Before you watch the video, please subscribe us. If you always watch our videos, you may know that. As we all know, in the global chip market, there are only a few choices of high-end chips, and most of the only choices are chips supplied by American companies. If you want to buy a mobile phone, computer or tablet in the market, there is a 95% probability that you will buy a chip from an American company or use the technology of an American company. However, as domestic chips have embarked on self-research and gradually made progress in autonomy, some American media said that American chips are losing the Chinese market. What is the good news about Chinese chips? Will MIC still sell well? Domestic chips frequently spread good news. The United States has developed in the field of chips for half a century. Because of its early start, it has accumulated a lot of core technologies. From patents on silicon-based materials to EDA chip design tools, to the application of semiconductor equipment, American technology can be seen in almost every corner of the chip industry chain. Although the United States relies on chip foundries, it has not affected the right of American companies to master the high-end core chip market. Moreover, under U.S. rules, almost only U.S. companies have obtained supply licenses. Suppliers such as MediaTek and TSMC are still unable to provide services for specific customers. This is enough to show the selfishness of the United States, which wants to make money without allowing it to be surpassed. However, as the customer market increases the chip self-sufficiency rate and enhances self-research efforts, it will gradually get rid of dependence in some core technology fields. In this regard, some U.S. media said that the U.S. chip has gradually lost the Chinese market, which is mainly reflected in the frequent good news of domestic chips. First of all, the RISC-V architecture is being vigorously deployed by Chinese domestic manufacturers. Chip design is the source of manufacturing, and many problems can be easily solved by mastering design capabilities. Designing chips requires the support of EDA software tools and architecture. In terms of architecture, domestic manufacturers are vigorously deploying RISC-V architecture. For example, Alibaba launched the high-performance chip development platform Wujian 600 based on the RISC-V architecture and brought the prototype SOC Shadow 1520 to this platform. Not only that, Alibaba's RISC-V patch is included in the Android source code, which shows that the RISC-V ecosystem is expected to extend to the Android system, laying the foundation for domestic manufacturers to customize the development of Android system chips in the future. Academician N.I. Guangnan said that RISC-V is an opportunity for Chinese chips and can be properly deployed. The situation is as N.I. Guangnan wishes, RISC-V can bring a solid foundation in terms of architecture for domestic chips. Secondly, SMIC will increase production capacity. Domestic chip demand is greater than production capacity, and the way to meet chip demand in the market is either imported or localized production. Due to the poor sales of U.S. companies' chips, some of the chips they want cannot be bought, and most of the old mid to low end products of the chips that can be sold freely are actually produced locally. Therefore, SMIC has increased production capacity, set an investment of about 170 billion yuan, and built 12 inch wafer fabs in Beijing, Tianjin, Shanghai, and Shenzhen to provide support for the production of mature chips such as 28 nanometers. After the production capacity is gradually increased, the localized industrial chain resources formed will be deeper. After all, in order to meet the production needs of SMIC, domestic suppliers will also actively develop technical products, bringing a virtuous circle to the development of the industrial chain.
In addition, industry giants such as mobile phones and electrical appliances have participated in chip self-development. Since a series of changes in the chip market, domestic manufacturers have become more aware of the importance of self-developed chips and have participated in the ranks of self-developed chips. Industries with the most significant self-research results include mobile phones, electrical appliances, etc. Separately, Xiaomi, Vivo, OPPO and other first-tier mobile phone manufacturers have launched self-developed chip products. Xiaomi's surging series, Vivo's V-series and OPPO's Mariana chip are the results of self-developed chips. In terms of electrical appliances, Gree Electric has been in the chip market for many years, and it is expected that this year's chip shipments will reach 135 million. And Gree CPU chip patent applications ranked ninth in the world. This shows that Gree has come a long way on the road of self-developed chips. Will MIC still sell well? There is good news for domestic chips from architecture to manufacturing to design. While continuously improving the chip self-sufficiency rate, the corresponding industrial chain, core technologies, etc. will be improved. As the US media said, microchip is gradually losing the Chinese market. In this case, can MIC still sell well? In fact, the answer is already obvious. Now, most American chip companies are trying to clear their inventories and sell chips at a price cut. If you don't dump at a low price in time, when the price plummets again in the future, you will only lose more. If American chip companies can still sell chips, there is only one option, and that is to return to the globalization of the chip industry chain and restore the normal sales order of chips. Only a free trade market can allow buyers and sellers to obtain the market rights of the application. If you go dark on one road, not only will the chips accumulate inventory, but the consumer market will also turn to self-produced and self-sold. At that time, even if chip shipments are released, they may not be able to sell well. At its peak, American chips sold well all over the world, with annual shipments of tens of billions. Qualcomm easily sold hundreds of millions of chips a year. However, since this year, Qualcomm's mobile phone chip shipments have continued. And NVIDIA's graphics cards have changed from hard-to-find cards to stockpiling. The US rules are the root cause of these situations. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share.